Hi, uh, my name is Alexa and I am the person behind this channel. I guess you could say the Lex behind the Lex Amazing. Oh, that was bad. Um, but yeah, I'm human. Um, I have dreams and goals and doubts and insecurities just like everyone else. And um, I'm not just one flat kind of personality. So I guess that's why I'm making this video. I think recently there's been a lot of me making videos day of. A lot of me ignoring homework, a lot of me trying to do the most amount of stuff in the least amount of time and therefore everything just gets cut short. Um, I think that there's been multiple occasions where I will literally watch my own video and think how do I recreate that slightly different and that just at least in my opinion just stops growth it's not actually creating if I'm just literally trying to copy myself and not grow I think it really kind of destroys the purpose like the reason you create because like I was really just making the same stuff over and over and over again. And I think because of that, I haven't been proud of what I've been making. There's been times where I'm watching back editing and I literally can't finish my own video um, because it sucks and I'm not proud of it. There's only been a few videos this entire year that I can say like I genuinely put my all into them and I am genuinely proud of them, but most of them I just am not proud of and I think that's really what needs to change. I feel like being burned out is like, uh, it sounds stupid because I'm so young um, I guess and like young people can't be burned out like it's impossible but I feel like it's really some sort of black hole in a way because you know, the more you're uninspired, the more you kind of feel like this burnout feeling, I guess, like you, you don't care anymore, um, even though you really do care. Um, but like the more you don't care, like the less you're inspired and it turns into this really vicious cycle of just thinking you don't care about things that you do care about. Once you get in that negative black hole, it's extremely, extremely hard to get out of. It's possible, but while you're in it, it feels like, oh, like I suck, I should just give up. And I think it takes a whole lot of self-control to be able to say, no, I'm gonna keep pushing, and I'm gonna keep pushing because I know that summer is so soon, and my finals are soon, and I think that if I just push through those, um, um, the feeling will go away because that's traditionally how it works. Hard to describe and hard to escape, um, but I'll make it out. And on social media especially, when you are essentially defined by a number. I mean, I know everyone says, oh, I don't check them, oh, I never checked them, it's all about the creativity for me, like, I've never checked them before, I don't care. Um, they're lying, right? I mean, I'm not saying that their motives are wrong, because I think everyone, or at least most people, start because they genuinely love this, and me too, um, but I do think that it's very, very hard not to fall into some sort of trap looking at numbers. And when they're so prominent on the site, on social media, I think it is very easy to start to care. So I have been afraid pretty much to check my social blade since December. Um, I've been literally avoiding it at all costs. Um, it used to be kind of like, you know, as awful as, as it sounds, like I used to check it a lot, um, which kind of gave it a lot of control over me. And I think 
not checking it a lot has now also given it a lot of control over me. Um, and that's just not, it's not healthy. Um, and it's hindering me from, well, it's not hindering me from creating, but I do think that, you know, if you are letting anything have control over you, you never have complete control over yourself. So I'm checking my social blade. Um, right now I have my computer or one of my, not my editing computer, but my other computer. And, um, I'm going to check my social blade. Um, um, I, I feel like it's definitely awful that I have my old stats memorized and I think that that's one thing I really need to let go of. Um, if I really want to be the best, what really matters is learning to not care about it. And I think as much as it is a trap, I think that it's possible. With all of that said, I know in my heart this is what makes me happy and this is kind of what I'm meant to be doing. I can't imagine my life any other way. I just can't imagine loving anything else. I can't imagine devoting my life to anything else. It's what I'm meant to do and I'm just not meant or supposed to do anything else and there's no words to really Exactly, it's just like, I love it. It brings me like genuine joy and I can't, yeah, just can't imagine my life without it ever in a million years. I think a big reason why I haven't been creative and even why the numbers are kind of down is because I haven't really been being myself. I mean, it's almost like I've created some sort of flat character of myself who is me, don't get me wrong, but kind of doesn't show all of me. And um, I think that I can tell that it's fake and I think that the viewers can tell that it's fake too. So I think for me, I really need to remember why I first started, not, not even why I first started, but what keeps me going and really remember like as a viewer of YouTubers, how they make me feel and how like I feel like they can really help me through the screen. And then how I've always wanted to be that person for someone else. So for a while now, I've been collecting comments. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate every single supportive comment. I read them all, I do my best to respond to them all. Um, especially now, um, but some of them are really, really just mind-blowing, to be completely honest, and um, those are the ones that I keep, um, and I think what I'm trying to do is to keep all of these comments and to print them out very small and just put them in a little jar so if I'm feeling uninspired, I can just, you know, reach into the jar and take one out and be like, this person who I don't even know who they are, or where they came from feels like I helped them in some kind of way and I think that's what makes this platform special um, and I think that by having those to be able to look at I'll really be able to say yeah this is this is why I'm here Here it says you inspire and they could just take a random one out and be like, just, it's insane. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this for when I'm feeling uninspired to make these videos because it really puts it all in perspective. Okay. Okay. So I have this idea for the clubhouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I could totally use that for my channel. That's, oh my, yes, come over right now. That's a great idea. Yeah, okay. Okay, bye. Bye. I have stories I wanna tell. Stories that I literally can't wait to share with all of you. Stories that I keep telling myself I don't have time to 
tell because when I first started I set out to find a community of people that I could maybe relate to that they could relate to me and I think that when it comes to being the creator and that viewer creator relationship you have to foster that community I have to foster that community um, and I feel like by selling myself short and by selling you guys short I've been not fostering that community but I think I finally realized how to do that is really just being myself and making the stuff that I want to do. And at this point, I don't think anything can stop me from that. Good morning. I slept in. So here we are, the end of this era, um, not the end of it all, um, in case you've been clickbaited, I'm sorry, um, I just, I wanted to try it out, I've never clickbaited before, I just wanted to try. It's not actually clickbait, it's just an interesting title. The point is, on Friday, I leave on a flight. I won't have basically much access to the internet for two weeks because I don't have international coverage, um, which is... Whatever. But I do think, um, regardless of how annoying it is, that not having my phone or social media for two weeks will be good for me. And I think it'll give me time to create videos while I'm there that are not influenced by numbers or by other people or anything like that, but just what I wanted to make. That also means, though, I won't be able to upload for the next two weeks, but I feel like that's kind of what I needed too. Um, a chunk of time to really separate the old era from the new era. Hello, I'm Alexa's dad. She's a good kid, a little annoying. Okay, I, I'm not gonna fight that one. A little princess-like, a little demanding. She's all right. We'll keep her. Okay. That being said, this era of me half-assing all my videos is so, so over. My dreams are bigger and my ambitions are crazier than ever and honestly, I think facing that with videos that are just like all the other ones that I've made is really no way to face that and no way to achieve those goals and ambitions. So I'm changing stuff around here. After my two weeks on vacation, you can expect me on Mondays and Fridays, which is huge for me. So on Mondays, you can expect to just see a normal video, and on Fridays, there's gonna be a series. And so that's really exciting for me because it's kind of just revamping my creativity and it's actually making me excited to create. Um, and I can't wait. I can't, I like, I genuinely, like I'm not being fake at this point anymore. I can't wait to show you guys these videos that I have planned out and I just, I'm so excited. Once again, I love and appreciate every single one of you and I can't wait for this. Um, you guys won't regret sticking around, I promise. This is the end, but 2.0 will be so much better. Okay, the amount of stuff that I've been through to film this is insane, so please like and subscribe maybe because there's been helicopters, my parents gardening, cars, garbage trucks, like literally you name it and it's happened and it stopped me from filming this. So like back to this, 